Well, I have to tell you, in today's broadcast, I am completely and utterly stunned. Twitter has just admitted something that honestly I never thought they would admit and quite frankly is going to make your jaw drop to the floor. But before I get into it, just a reminder, check out my partner at BackupSolarBank.com. Now, this is the Backup Solar Bank right here. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's got lots of benefits, one of those being that you can charge your cell phone in the sun. So say you're hiking and you get lost or whatever, this will give you access if your phone has died. And even better news, as you see on the screen here, it can charge up to three separate devices. So check it out at at BackupSolarBank.com and make sure you use the coupon code JULY to get 15% off. All right, so just what on earth is going on with Twitter and what did they admit to? Well, take a look at this and I found this directly on their Twitter blog page and here it is. Sharing our latest transparency update, marking decade long commitment. Now I want you to notice the date this was published, obviously very recent, Thursday the 20th the eighth of July 2022. But here's what they go on to state. This year marks a decade of transparency reporting from Twitter. And today we are publishing our 20th transparency report. Why does this matter? Over the last 10 years, how governments attempt to control free expression, remove content, and reveal the identity of account owners on Twitter has evolved significantly. In other words, what they're about to show Show you is information on how governments all over the world are um, telling Twitter exactly what to censor and what to do. That's called government controlled media or state run media. Hey, but let's go on to uh, look at some of the stuff that they particularly maybe censored or how much censorship happened. We'll take a look. They highlight that in that very same report here. And here's what they have. Highlights from our latest report. And here's some of the stuff. We continue to see a concerning trend toward attempts to limit global press freedom with an increase in government legal demands targeting journalists, as well as an overall increasing number of legal demands on accounts. Both represent record record high since reporting began. It goes on. Here's some of what they're reporting. Number one here, record number of legal demands on accounts. 47,572 demands on 1,981, 931 accounts. That is an increase of 103% in legal demands from governments targeting verified journalists and news outlets since their very last reporting, right? And they do this, uh, as you saw earlier, they do this, what? Uh, this is their 20th report on it, but it goes on. The United States accounted for 20% of all global requests, which by the way, was the highest request amounts. Twitter impressions that violate Twitter rules accounted for less than 0.1% of the total impressions on all tweets. We objected 29 of those U.S. civil requests for account information. So just 29 of them. Then they go on to expand about the U.S. government here. Government information requests originating from the United States made up the highest percentage of among requesting countries around the world for this so-called free country. Why are they now the number one request to Twitter to remove information? And by the way, it's not just Twitter. It's Twitter, Google, Google, <laughs> Google, YouTube, and the like. Now, they go on to divulge in that report on their blog that they are processing this information and download and downloading it to a database. Take a look, and this is in that same article there. Uh, it says, we also upload legal requests directly into the Lumen database, a project by the Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University. Now, here is that actual center here, and I went on there and pulled up some of the latest information about what's going on and I found it in this post which was published on the 19th of July so very recent but it's a stark increase in government takedown request in Lumen and here they really get into detail it, it states this in the last few years journalists 
activists, by the way, and civil society members have noted that authoritarian national governments are increasingly relying on digital tools to control what information is available to their citizens online. They're admitting they're controlling info. The weaponization of government takedown requests has become a key strategy to meet this goal. Government takedown requests are a legitimate tool for removing illegal online content, such as hate speech and terrorist content, but are increasingly being misused to remove lawful government criticism, or other types of information that conflict with a government's preferred narrative. Amen and amen. I just have to pause right there because that is Twitter saying the government is telling us to suppress content outside of that content, uh, that the content, by the way, that is not illegal. They're telling us we have to suppress that content simply because it conflicts with the government's preferred narrative. That's a pretty bold statement coming from a Lumen database there linked with Twitter. But it goes on. It says, some of the most telling evidence of this trend is increasing misuse of government takedown requests has surfaced as a result of online service providers or OSPs, most notably Twitter and Google. Being transparent about what information government has asked them to remove from their services by sharing copies of the government's requests and demands with the Lumen database. Now, it goes on to describe exactly some of those things that they were asked to remove. Take a look here. Uh, they removed content included the official Twitter handle of India's ongoing farmers protests. Can't talk about that if you're in India. That of Rana Ayam, a McGill Medal for Journalistic Courage awardee, a Washington Post columnist, and post, of course, by Freedom House, a nonprofit organization that documents attacks on political freedom and democracy, God forbid, you can't talk about freedom and democracy. We can't have that. But that's not all. It goes on to detail some more things that got, well, suppressed. Similarly, in 2021, journalists were also able to highlight the Indian government's attempt to remove tweets that criticized the ruling party's COVID-19 pandemic plan of action to provide medical and other facilities to its citizens, including some tweets by members of the opposition party. I wonder if that also happened in other areas too. Just saying. Just saying. Then it goes on to talk about in March 2022, against the backdrop of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, a notice in the Lumen database revealed that the European Commission had sent a content removal request to Google and likely several others requiring all content by RT Sputnik, Russia Federation State Controlled Media Outlets, to be de indexed. Remember that? From Google's search result. Wait now. And they didn't make a press release about it. <gasps> hmm. I wonder what they're not telling us because they're really just giving us little bits of info. You want more specific on a timeline, like how much information was removed in the past versus how much information has been removed while Biden is in charge in just the past couple of years. Take a look. I also found that in that article. This is awesome. Between January 2021 and December 2015, Lumen received copies of 47 government takedown requests, just 47. 0.97 per month sent to Google, Twitter, YouTube, and other platforms. Remember, that's when we were free to say things, right? That's when we were free. It goes on. This number increased to 27,826 requests between January 2016 and December 2019, an average of 579 requests per month. So we went to point, not even a point one requests per month, you know, back in 2015 through 2011 to jumping up to 2016 through 2019, 579 requests per month. That's a pretty big spike, but wait. Biden gets into office and that thing triples, right? Here we go. This remarkable increase has itself been surpassed 
by a large margin with a total of 44,869 government takedown requests sent between January 2020 when Biden got into office all the way through June 2022. Now on average of 1,495 requests per month. Per month. <laughs> Did I tell you Biden and his regime or puppet Biden, whoever's calling the shots, is a tyrant? It goes from less than 1% from 2011 to 2015 to 2016 to 2019. Still not a whole bunch, 500-ish, 79 on average per month to now that Biden is in office. We get Democrats in and boom, right? When they officially, you know, initiated this attack and, and censorship over the internet, then bang, 1, 000, nearly 1,500 requests on a monthly basis. And mind you, they're requesting stuff illegal that obviously, you know, they're going to have access to some of that and and non and, and non legal. Like we want information on certain journalists when they didn't do anything illegally wrong. Right. <sighs> Wait, now, did Twitter just admit that? I mean, I told you this is a complete and utter jaw dropper, but we know they've actually admitted this in the Biden administration before. As a quick reminder, uh, NewYorkPost.com White House flagging post for Facebook to censor, you know, COVID misinformation. Uh, they admitted, yeah, we work with Facebook. We censor information. Also, the CDC has admitted it. The post millennial CDC's plan to work with big tech to suppress vax misinfo resulted in, of course, censorship. I have said for a number of years that that is exactly what governments are doing. And lo and behold, Twitter's database is finally admitting it. But you know what? I think there's a little more that may have sparked them to do this. You know, because there is a lawsuit happening right now. And if you're not aware, go to gatewaypundit.com. Here it is. Missouri AG files landmark lawsuit against Biden for colluding with big tech. Amen and amen. And here's just the latest. Here is the actual, in case you're thinking this thing isn't real, this is uh, the actual United States District Court versus Western District of Louisiana. Here it is right here. That's the actual suit. And let's go on over to, well, Eric Schmidt, the Missouri Attorney General uh, main webpage to see what's going on and the latest and greatest on that. And here it is. Federal court grants Missouri Attorney, Attorney General a motion to collect discovery from government officials officials and social media companies in free speech lawsuit. Amen. Good news. Good news. I know a lot of you say, oh, too much bad news. This is good news. Today, uh, July 12th, 2022, the United States District Court, Western District of Louisiana, granted Missouri and Louisiana's motion for discovery in their lawsuit against top ranking Biden, 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 Biden administration officials for allegedly colluding to suppress freedom of speech, paving the way for attorney generals to collect discovery and documents from both top ranking Biden administration officials, as well as social media giants like Twitter, Meta, aka Facebook, and others. And who are they honing in on? And I want to show you the lawsuit names Biden. Jen Psaki, Health and Human Services Director Xavier, Department of Homeland Security Alexandra Mayorkas, and Dr. Anthony Fauci and others. I believe Nina Jankowitz is actually in there as well. Wow. Again, I'm very proud that this lawsuit is going on because I am sick and tired of the censorship. Isn't it weird? And suddenly, a left controlled, because unfortunately, so far, it doesn't seem to be going through with Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter, right? So much drama in that. I was hopeful, but I digress. Why now? Well, I can only account for maybe the fact that there's a lawsuit going on against that specific thing, you know, how governments are colluding. And here it is. There's the information you need, Attorney General. What are you going to do with it? How's the court going to respond? What's going to happen? Well, I hope they utilize it because that's a straight up omission. Anyhow, I love all of you. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.